Just a second. <laughs> you come up here. You just come up here for a minute. Let me get in here. Go ahead. 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 <laughs> you better come on this side. Let her come over here. <laughs> So I'm here today, I have Leda's rock stars with me. These are some amazing dogs. They're so amazing. So I'll bring them up here and try and showcase them. This is one of the big boys. He's such a good boy. Such a nice fella. So these are Karoo and Leda pups. They're exceptional dogs. Oh my goodness, they're good. So I'll tell you about these pups here in a minute. They're a week old. And uh, I have a video from when they were 37 minutes old. But this guy, he's just a powerhouse. Look at him, how healthy he is, how big he is already in a week. And uh, just likes to work with me. He's a very good boy. He's a really good fella. What are you doing, mister? So I'll set them, try and get them out. I don't know, pull my feet back so I can get let us some room here. Let it come around by me, let it. There's my girl, let it. There's my girl. Let's move these guys out a little bit. Let's see who we got here. Oh, this is the, this is the big female right here. Look at that beautiful girl. Oh my goodness, what a lovely dog. That's my girl. That's my girl, huh? That's my girl. That's my girl. That's my girl. 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 Letta, what a fantastic female, hey? Unbelievable. Marilyn is getting this female. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Unbelievable. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, big male here. The rest are all males. Look at these big rascals. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? They're phenomenal dogs. Let's get them all up there. You guys better come say hello. Come say hello. What you guys been doing anyway? What you guys do is sleep. Get up here so we can see you guys. Here's big black rascal. Big dark fella. Look at this boy. Oh, you're a good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. <laughs> yes. Yes, you're a good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. You better get eaten, mister. You better get eaten. Who's this big guy? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is a good boy. Oh my goodness. So yeah, we're very proud of these dogs in this pen here. And uh, we follow old world breeding principles. And so what we try to accomplish is use genetics from as far away as we can, keep them as unrelated as possible. And uh, the father of Leda, of course, was brought in as an outcross male for our females. And he's from the very far end of the U.S. He was a USA import. And the father of the pups here, Karu, is from the northern Finland Karelian district, about as far north a breeder as you can find in the world. And so, um, for us, our goal, of course, just turn a little bit so that they can watch. Good, 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 good. Um, for us, 
This is the height of excellence in terms of genetic diversity. The father of these pups, Karu, his genetics have never been in North America. And that's a phenomenal old cross uh, dog. And Pretty Boy Leaf is the father of Letta. And that's an incredible dog. The mother, of course, of Letta is Kai. Kai is from Bram. Bram is a world-class, uh, first-generation born in Canada from Norway. A really, really good Norway line. Kai. I think I've got Kai chewing on a bone right next door. She might come in. No. And uh, these are all traced back to Torah. And Tora is a daughter of Dakota. So we have the old, old Norland Swedish line there. So as far as unique bloodlines go, this is an extremely unique line. Now in the old days, of course, this, this lineage goes back through Mia. Mia is the mother of Tora. And Mia is a coastal Norway lineage. And those old coastal breeders, they, they had very stout, thick dogs, just like this. They're stout, thick, short couple, very powerful dogs, very, very good sound feet. Now, in the old days, many, many years ago, hundreds of years ago, when they would have a female and they wanted to outcross that female, as soon as she started to spot, they would start hiking, and they would hike inland and go to the uh, bog areas and the northern uh, central regions to get an outcross dog. And what would happen is uh, they would have about 10 days to get there because roughly by the time they hiked for 10 days, she'd be in full heat. And what would happen is they would hike in there and they would find a really good hunting line. They kind of had an idea where they were headed, but they would stop and check on all the best hunting dogs and keep going. And finally they would make their way there. They would go every few years, every four or five years, they would take their best female and they'd go get them out cross bloodlines. And then they'd come back and they could use local, local dogs that they had again. And uh, the same concept applies here. We follow the old world principles the exact same way. And so we bring these boys in. Now this is a ex very expensive lineage because, of course, you transport these bloodlines from around the world. Um, you know, it's a three-day episode to get Karoo here. And... Uh, the breeders, uh, Satu and Mika, they traveled with three dogs, brought three dogs for me, Karu, Paso, and Ella. And so it's a, it's a venture. Let me tell you, it was a couple of days for um, Leaf to make it here as well, and this is a, a big deal. So we've got uh, some extremely good genetics in this line. Now, what's very, very cool, you see, is that this is probably my my very most favorite lineage, of course. Uh, I mean, everybody knows that. This line is has no flaws. It has uh, it's a very healthy, fertile uh, lineage. The females are fertile, and both Tora and Kai have had 34 pups. And Letta will easily have 34 as well. Letta may pass them, but uh, she'll, she'll uh, maybe have an extra litter because uh, Kai, of course, uh, had to miss her first litter because the male that we had brought in, uh, another outcross male, he turned out to be no good. And so Kai missed that first litter and so did two, but we brought that male in. But that's okay, that happens. So Letta, of course, is right on time. Now Letta's <clears throat> almost full sister, but by another mother. 
Sage has eight pups out of Karoo as well. And just above Leda is Kai, and just above Sage is Tika. And Tika and Kai are full sibling sisters, both, both daughters of Tora's last litter. Now we won't hold the female out of this litter. We're going to wait till the, about the last litter. Now on old world principles, of course, you hold the female out of the last litter and that extends the time that you make a genetic change. If you take it out of the first litter, you have a very short window of genetic change, but if you take it out of the last, then uh, you have a much uh, longer time frame that before you change the genetic. And of course, Kai was taken out of the last litter of, of Torah. Leda was not out of the last litter of Kai. But uh, I wanted to, I waited a couple of litters, but I wanted to be sure that I had a female just in the event that something went, went haywire. And Sage and Willow were out of the second last litter of Tika as well. But we kept Cedar and, and uh, Aspen. Wendy and Dale have, have those females over there. They're co-breeders. They work, uh, do a tremendous job with those dogs. I wish you'd come over here to let her come over here. Wait, wait. Just stay right here by me. God's bed. Then we can see these rock stars. Now, Carew, he's uh, about as good a dog as you can find in the world today. Exceptional bloodline. And we're using Carew a lot right now. I'm going to put that bloodline in here. And we, just, we let them guys pick out which dog should come here. And they pick one of the very best in the world for us. So we'll honor that commitment and work, and we'll use that bloodline. So that bloodline's going in. I've got females that uh, are perfect for him. So they will, uh, he will get used. Now these guys are a week old. I have a video at 37, no, 47 minutes. And I'll, I'll push it up too. So you can see how vigorous these little guys were at, at 47 minutes. Almost all of them were nursing within a couple of minutes. Really, just like within a couple of minutes. No, you just stay back. Let me just stay back. She just wants so much attention. You have done such a good job, Letta. Unbelievable job. No doubt about it. Look at how fat these guys are. And she's in great shape, eating like a wolf. Holy cow. But uh, this is an efficient dog. She, she doesn't eat as much as some females. She's very efficient. So she can convert food so much better. This is an efficient line. And the uh, coastal breeders, uh, uh, they, they understood efficiency. They liked that efficient dog. The efficient dog converts food better. And Tora, believe it or not, thickest, heaviest, most muscular female I have eats the least. Kai, Kai, Kai. Or who the heck is making a racket in there? You guys wrecking my floor? So yeah, these are efficient dogs. They don't eat much. Taurus survives on a half a pound. Half a pound morning and night. She doesn't eat a pound. And she's powerhouse, 64 pound female. Lead is more the, the breed standard size. Now, when I was in Finland, I saw females just like this, like Kai. They were just identical. This dog could have just walked in there and won that show. This is world-class dog right here. Just absolute flawless dog, this dog. Um, she's an incredible female. This is how a female should be. And milk's good. Pup's satisfied, happy. Pup's doing really good. Eating good. Yeah. Very nice pups. So now, we've got some border issues yet, but we're hoping that to get this border open. Our government is uh, not opening it uh, because they're scared 
Um, not sure why. Me, I, I wish they'd get her open. Hey, come on, settle down here. Settle down here. So I wish they'd get her open because in BC we don't have any cases. We got nothing going on. A couple, couple tests and positive, which is what you want, right? You want the young people to mix and mingle now and share the virus because they don't get hurt, they don't get sick and you just get that herd immunity going and it's working good in BC. So BC's in good shape. We have no deaths hardly at all. We didn't even hit um, 200 people didn't die from this and almost all were old people anyway which had other factors involved. Tragic as you could believe that they couldn't protect the seniors. But that's every politician in Canada dropped the ball on the seniors. But uh, we're going to get rid of all the politicians that are in place now. We're going to dump them all, every single one of them. Get brand new ones, because they're useless. But that's beside the point. When you, have, uh, when you have something to do, it's good. I don't watch news, but I see a few things. But um, opening up the border affects me because some of these are USA bound dogs so they better get the border open is all I can say and uh, we've got to uh, make a few phone calls to the government and tell them to come on get cracking here but uh, whiny babies will probably wait so anyway they delayed it for one more month which is fine these guys are just a week old so they're here for almost two months anyway so, but we'll get her figured. But I'll be doing a video every week on these guys, and I'll be hiking with these guys roughly at about the five week mark. I was hiking with the mothers of these pups. Um, all, I have all five generations in the yard here too, so I can actually hike with five generations at one time. Can you believe that? I don't think there's another breeder in the world today that can say that that he can go hiking with five generations at one time. Pretty cool. And not uh, not taking them out of the first year either. So we'll have uh, 13 years between the dogs here. Yeah, you're heading out, are you, buddy? You're a hiking machine. You're a good hiker. You're a good hiker. Now, I made sure these guys smelt me right off the bat. So they got my cement. They think I'm their mother half the time. So these these dogs here, they're bonded to me like uh, better than anybody. So yeah, these are bonded. They'll just follow me anywhere I go in the bush as little tiny pups too. And I could leave Letta at home. She wouldn't need to come. If they're a little bit uptight, I can pick them up. They calm just as fast as, me, as they do with Letta with me. So they're my buddies already. But that's what you want, right? You want to build that bond. The bond building capabilities and instincts in this dog. So I just enhance it. And it's in these pups. So yeah, you get a pup from me, boy, get a good dog, let me tell you. All right, Letta, that's pretty good, girl. I think we'll call her a video. Okay, let me out of here, Letta. Let me out. Watch out, Letta. Good job, Letta. Good. <laughs>